How can we tell the difference between being tested and being punished? We have answered this question in so many ways before. Now, we're asking our chef to help us, maybe to look at the answer to this question again. How is going to benefit us for today, for us again? It is good manners for a believer to know that whatever wrong thing, whatever bad thing that is happening to us, whatever thing that's happening to us that we don't like, it is coming from our ego. And whatever good thing, it is coming from our Lord. Quran is saying it. So now, for a believer to say that whatever thing that is happening to me, it is coming from my ego, now that time he's going to move away from asking whether it's a test or it's a punishment. It's beyond test and it's a beyond a punishment. Something is happening now. First, the believer will say, what is my fault in this? Because it's a bad thing. It's coming from my ego. What is it that's making me to do this? What did my ego do? He has to check himself. And if a man is checking himself almost daily, looking at his actions, looking at his words, looking at his intentions, then he knows straight away. He knows and signs will be given to him whether his actions, that, uh, that uh, certain things that are happening to him, whether that is a test or that is a punishment. If it's a punishment, say, Astaghfirullah, shukur ya Rabbi, alhamdulillah. Because that punishment is meant to clean us up. That punishment is meant to clean us up. We can come up from that clean again. If that is a test, then with all tests, we have to be very patient. And we have to know that this is put in front of us for us to pass, not for us to fail. The awliya Allah, our shaykh, is saying, don't be quick to say, this is a test coming from my Lord. This is not something that is my fault that is in it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He only tests His prophets. He doesn't test us. It's good manners to think that way. Would a university professor be testing a kindergarten kid? No. He will not. But higher that you go in your faith, higher that you go in your faith, and higher that you go in your faith, certain things may happen to you that after you sit and you check, when you see everything, when you are faith is high because you are following a shaykh and you're trying to submit and you are seeing, well, in every angle, through consultation, through speaking with some people, through consulting even with a shaykh, that it is not because of my wrong action before or what I'm doing or what I'm thinking to do that such a thing is happening to me then that time yes it's a test and that time you must sit down and be patient and that guide will help you with that test it will give you that patience because the patience can only also come from people who have patience who are ahli sabr when you ask for their help when you ask for their prayers, then they say, I have nothing. My Lord has everything. I'm going to ask from Him. Then that time, very quickly, it will come to you. That's important to do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. We are not asking Allah to test us. Never ask Allah to test us. 
don't ask Allah to punish us either. Always ask for the mercy. Always ask for forgiveness. Always ask for understanding. And always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to clean us and to make us to become more awake and aware. May Allah forgive me and bless you. For the sake of the Holy Prophet, alayhi salatu wassalam, and our Shaykh, al Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Have a good day.